Uh, just a couple things that I'm going to show uh, before we move on to exports. First is Dependency Walker. This is a separate program uh, that you can use to sort of see, like, I import, you know, comdlg, but what does comdlg import? Comdlg imports its own imports, and they import their own imports. So actually, CFF Explorer has an equivalent thing to this down in the Dependency Walker tab. So within it, you know, this would be another way that you could potentially see how many things it imports. So my round 2q0 imports three DLLs, user32 being the first one, and then user32 imports three DLLs, and, you know, the second DLL imports a bunch more DLLs, and that imports many more DLLs. This is sort of a Windows 7, there's some uh, subcode DLL kind of thing that does that I don't actually even know about yet. I'd one of the other people on my project dealt with that. But yeah, so the point is you can see all of the dependencies that are actually involved. And so the OS loader at runtime has to go through and say, okay, I'm running, you know, round two q0.dll. What is that important? And it goes and finds all those. And what do they import and finds all those? And it has to get this exhaustive list of all possible DLLs that need to be loaded to make these things work. So in some sense, that's another potential value from something like delay loading uh, DLLs, right? So if you delay load a DLL, which happens to, you know, load, you know, 50 other DLLs, by making sure you're not doing that until you really need to, uh, you potentially put off more than just one DLL's worth of loading off overhead. You know, potentially you're putting off 50 overhead, 50 DLL's worth of overhead. 